Here we are in chapter 6 review exercises, numbers 9 through 15. We're going to be simplifying these rational expressions. We've got timesing up here, dividing, and addition and subtraction. So factor is the very first thing we'll do in all of these. Okay, so here 7x is already good. This guy is uh, leading coefficient 1 on a trinomial, so that's just x and timesing to 12. Adding to 7 is a 3 and a 4. So on this one, AC method, 2 times negative 21 is a negative 42. We have 1 and 42, 2 and 21, 3 and 14, uh, 5, 6 and 7. So, ah, there we go, negative 7 and positive 6. So this would be 2x squared plus 6x minus 7x minus 21 chainsaw take out the 2x and we've, we're left with x plus 3 and here minus 7 and we're left with x plus 3 so this will give us uh, 2x 2x minus 7 and x minus 3 x plus 3 there we go and then the 5xp so multiplying just moves them all to the same that times that and that times that so we can just cancel what's left the x plus 3 goes out and x goes out and we're left with 7 x plus 4 on top and on the bottom we have a p from here and a 5 and the 2x minus 7 excellent all right number 10 uh, do any factoring the top's already good this one x minus 7, x minus 1. That was a leading coefficient 1. That's nice. This one we have to times up to a negative 14 and add to a negative 5. Uh, 7 and 2, so that would be x minus 7, x plus 2. And then we can, again, this multiplication just cinches those all together. So the x minus 7s cancel like that. The x here will cancel one of those and make a 4. And then the 5 and the 15, we'll leave a 3 down here. So we have an x to the 4th times x minus 1 all over 3m times an x plus 2. All right, number 11. In this case, we're going to flip this. So as we factor it, we'll write it down here as a multiplication problem with this guy on the top and that guy on the bottom. All right, so this is negative 5 times. This is... Uh, do this. this is x minus 5 x plus 5 alrighty let's color these in this new color for this problem so it doesn't get confused with the top one there um, and then this guy needs to factor this factors into let me see 3 times 20 is 30 now 3 times 20 is not 30 3 times 20 is 60 1 and 60 2 and 30 uh, 3 and 20, 4 and 15. So we need, uh, oh, and then 5 and 12, and 6 and 10. But we found 4 and 15, negative 4 and negative 15. So if we write this out as 3x squared minus 4x minus 15x minus uh, plus 20, chainsaw, 3x, and we're left with uh, x minus, no, we can't take a 3x out of that. What are you thinking? Take an x out, and we're left with 3x minus 4. Here we can take a minus 5, and we're left with 3x minus 4. So this guy factors into x minus 5 and 3x minus 4. All right, so let's write all these guys out. We have negative 5 times x minus 5 times x plus 5 uh, over 10xm squared times 6m cubed on top, so we'll have a 6m cubed on top over this x minus 5 times 3x minus 4. The Is there anything similar? Yeah, the x minus 5s are there. The m squared and the m cubed. So the m squared takes out two of those and leaves one m left. Negative 5 the 5 cancels and leaves just a 2 there with the 10. And the 2 would cancel with this 6 and leave a 3 up here. So let's see what we have left. We have a negative and a 3 and an x plus 5. 
uh, and an m, so negative 3m, we could write that m over there, over 2, nope, the 2 is gone, we canceled him out, so we could have an x and a 3x minus 4. Looks like we got everything there. Negative 3m x plus 5 over x, 3x minus 4. All right, there's number 11 for you. All right, number uh, 12. We'll do the same thing here. Let me see, this has got to have an x plus 5 and an x minus 5. We've done that one several times. Um, this one, x squared plus 3, that's not going anywhere. This one's a difference of squares. That's x squared minus 3, x squared plus 3. And this guy, uh, ooh, factor a 2 out, and we're left with x squared minus 3x minus 40. Oh, that's now a leading coefficient 1, which is x minus 8, x plus 5. Alrighty then, let's write all this out. We got negative 10, x plus 5 times x minus 5 over x squared plus 3 times, now we're flipping them because this is a division sign, so we're timesing by this guy on the top, which will have the x squared minus 3, x squared plus 3 right there, and this goes on the bottom, so we have this times x minus 8 times x plus 5 and the 2. Don't forget that 2. There he is. So what can we cancel? x plus 5, gone. x squared plus 3, gone. Um, and that leaves a 5 up there. 10 over 2 is 5. So we have negative 5, x minus 5, x squared minus 3, all over x minus 8. And there we have number 12. All right, good. Number 13. We're adding the fractions. We're not timesing them, so we have to get a common denominator. So in this case, um, this is a 6, that's a 3, so we're going to have to times by a 2, certainly over here. But what else? This has an x and a t, this has a t and a z, so we need an x over here. Um, over here we need a z. We'll times by z and z. And so we have 2z plus 6x all over the common denominator, which is 6xtz, right? That's the common denominator with that. But the top factors, and we get equals 2, pull that out, and we get z plus 3x over that 6xzt. And the 2 can cancel with that 6, leaving a 3 down there. So our end result is z plus 3x over 3xzt. And we note here the 3x's cannot cancel. This 3x would be available. It's multiplying. That 3 could cancel. That x could cancel. But this 3x is being added into the top. So it is not available for cancellation. So we stop right there. All right, number 14. Let's factor this guy to see what he's made of. And leading coefficient 1 means we have an x and an x. They multiply to negative 10, add to 3. That looks like a positive 5 and a negative 2. Oh, good. The same thing that we have over here. So when we do these common denominators, we have to make everything into this common denominator of x plus 5 times x minus 2. So here we take x plus 5, x plus 5. And here we times by x minus 2 and x minus 2. So we'll be all over the common denominator of x plus 5 times x minus 2. And let's see, here we have 3x plus 15. Negative 6 jumps in here and we get a negative 6x plus 12. And then the minus 2x. And that's going to equal... We see negative 3, negative 5x plus 27 all over x plus 5, x minus 2. Now, we should double check to make sure this thing doesn't factor so we could simplify this fraction, but it, I'm not seeing anything come out of the top. Alrighty, and number 15. Let's factor both of them. This is x times x minus 5 here. 
and this is m times x minus 5 here. So it looks like this guy needs an m, and this guy needs an x. Oh, that's a nice one. Negative 7m plus 4x all over that common denominator of mx, x minus 5. Oh, I like that one.